I don't say this enough, but I actually read all of the comments you guys make. So in the last video, Keith asked me that for the boost that he used, he tends to score, go on scoring droughts a lot. So actually, there's a reason to explain this, and it's not cheese, because if you think it's cheese, it doesn't leave a lot of room for improvement. So the reason why scoring drought takes place, at least for, to me, is that I believe it's because of rotation management. So this is episode 3 of our Perfect Recipe series where I'm preparing you for 2K16. We're going to continue on with the boost today and we're going to focus on how to avoid scoring drums, alright? And if you haven't watched the last two episodes, click the link above there. You have to watch that, otherwise this is going to be a waste of your time because you're going to be falling behind on a lot of stuff. In today's video, we're going to focus on the second quarter and you need to understand, the second quarter Starting at the second quarter and starting at the fourth quarter, that lineup you put on, it's the key. It's going to help you avoid scoring droughts for the rest of the quarter. Most scoring droughts actually come in second and the fourth quarter, so at the end of the game or at the beginning before the end of the first half. This is because you've rotated through your guys and if you didn't manage them properly, a lot of them are going to be tired and in 2k when they're tired, they don't play right. So. You can see there, I have put on the second quarter lineup, starting the second quarter, and there are two starters in there. And those two starters are actually two of my best offensive guys. So I'm gonna make sure these two guys stay in there and they hold the ship, you know? It won't let them go into really bad droughts. And we go from there. And eventually I'll also rotate Jimmy back in. I'll show you guys that later. But for now, let's see how we do with this hybrid half starter, half bench lineup that we use to start the second quarter off with the Bulls against the Warriors. So let's get to it. So we're going to switch away from the 4 out 1 in because we're running that with our bench. But with our hybrid lineup, we're going to go out to the 3 out 2 in for our freelance. And we're going to keep Derek Rose as the main focus right now and not Pal. Because Pal has been worked on pretty hard in the first quarter and Jimmy's not around. So we're going to keep Rose as our weapon and it's working out great because Rose got his rest and bang, pull up mid range. I love one triple pull up mid ranges. And here we're going to go back to our freelance. I showed you guys in the last two videos so you can check it out there. We're running it with Taj and Pau and as you can see it's working out great. At this point Joakim is back in but the continuity is perfect. We're running the same offense but with different players but it's still working out. We're getting it back to Pau and the man is going to work. Pau Gasoline! And at this point our offense is really clicking. You can see the lead is getting bigger. Now we're going back to Rose and our hybrid lineup is holding it together and we have gone on no scoring droughts. And because of that, this allows us to bring back in a fresh Jimmy Butler. I mean look at it here, his energy level is 97. While most of the Golden State guys have been pounded on by our bench and our hybrid lineup. And with Jimmy back and Jimmy fresh, now the weapon becomes Jimmy. We're gonna isolate him up top on Clay, and you now you know this man is fresh. This boy is fresh. He's killing Clay Thompson who is probably not as well managed on the other side. So we're getting him based on energy and skill level. Another pull up by Jimmy and he's killing it. And the initial action is from Jimmy here. It doesn't work but because he's been so hot, we can walk the ball back around and we can go back to our freelance. So now we run from our play to our freelance. We're flowing very nicely and Joe Kim with the ugliest jumper in the world but it's still good. It's still good. And here we're gonna go with our freelance again and Joakim at this point is also taking over so pretty much throughout this game we worked Derek, we worked Pat, we worked Jimmy, all of it worked out and now Joakim is producing and at this point it's an 8 point game and with 1 minute and 48 seconds left before the half we're gonna bring back in our bench but as always Jimmy stays so this avoids cold streaks and this avoids kind of scoring drops because Jimmy's always there handling it and keeping it all together and he never disappoints with his energy level high and our rotation managed perfectly, Jimmy is keep producing, he's holding the starters together and at the same time he's keeping the bench together. So this was possible because of a hybrid lineup that was put in in the second quarter and when you're hot, you're hot. Aaron Brooks with the garbage free, BANG! 54-43, these are the Hall of Fame Sim Warriors we're talking about. So remember, at the end of the first quarter, we were going at plus three, but in the second quarter, we went plus 8. So combined for a total, 
of 11 point lead at the first half against the Warriors using the Bulls. So that was perfect offense, perfect offensive recipe. You can see in the box score there, the points are very spread over, very nice, but the key always to me is the plus and minus. I don't really care what individual players get, that doesn't reflect much. But as you can see, every player is a plus. This means every lineup I put in for the offense had a positive result. And that's perfect offensive recipe. So, in terms of the boost, the offense, I'm pretty much done. The second half, I blew them out. But it was similar to the first half, so I'm just going to show you guys video on the first half. Uh, coming up, I will also talk about the defensive recipe in this game because you saw I actually held the defense, I held the Warriors to a low amount of points. So that was pretty awesome. And I got new videos coming in. I always read you guys' comments. I'm sorry I can't answer all of them. It's it's hard. But if you guys have want any videos you want to see, any questions you have, put it in the comment section. And if I come up with any ideas, I'll go ahead and do that. Uh, I will be making a detailed, innovative dribble handoff offense in the next video. And I'll also focus on the Clippers. Most of these tips I'm doing right now, I'm trying to create new stuff because I'm trying to show you guys things that will carry over to 2k16 because that's my goal for these videos so you can consider this your pre 2k16 training camp so when the game comes out you can hit the ground running i'll also be doing basic fundamentals when 2k16 comes out because you know how it is year to year the basic stuff don't translate very well because gameplay changes but what i've been showing you lately is the very very advanced 2k stuff and the advanced stuff always carries over from year to year like the management tactics right now and the playbook management and all this good stuff, this will carry over right away when you like put 2K16 back in, it'll be right there. But the basic gameplay like the pick and rolls and the post ups, I'll be doing those videos later. And if you guys enjoy this format, if you enjoy me doing tips, please add me a like. And uh, yeah, I hope to hear you guys in the comment section once again. You can click the bot button below. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> There's no button below. <laughs> Alright guys, I'll see all you next time.